You caught me. I'm sorry, love. I was trying to slip into bed without waking you up. Your silence speaks volumes. Look, I'm I'm sorry I didn't text you, dear. If you just let me explain, please. Thank you. I was studying at the library like I usually do after class, and I guess midterms really took a toll on me. More than I thought. Because next thing you know, it's seven at night, and I got my face drooling in a textbook. <laughs> That's what I thought, but... I guess I just looked way too exhausted. The one who finally woke me up was the old lady trying to close up the library. Now can you stop giving me that disappointed look? Love, the buses stopped running at six. I had to walk all the way home. Huh. Thank you for understanding. Today was awful. But, I know how much trouble you have getting to sleep, so why don't you let me make it up to you for waking you up? I know you aren't sleepy. How? Oh, my sleepy little lady. You should know not to doubt me by now. First things first. <laughs> you need to stop thanking me for kissing you. Now for a little check-in. No, if we go right back to bed, you won't be able to sleep. I know how you get in your head. You'll be too afraid to ask for some help. I've learned how you operate. Let me snuggle up in the covers first. There we go. On the bright side, your scalp looks all healthy. I like running my hands through your hair. It's always so relaxing for the both of us. Well, how was your day? It seems like it was just as tiring as mine. You never go to bed this early. It was hard. I can relate. My terms really are chipping away at the both of us. Oh, well that's a good thing though. I know you've been talking about it for a while. I know how important it is to you. Switching your major? <laughs> you just better be sure this time. No, oh, honey, I, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, I need you to be sure of what you want to do. Not what other people are telling you. Even what I'm saying. It needs to be your decision, or else it'll never stick. We all have different interests. That's why I'm doing engineering, after all. But I'm glad you finalized everything with a switch. I'm very proud of you for making a big decision like that. It can be hard to seemingly backtrack, especially when you already put yourself on another course. But other than that, classes were alright. Hmm. Okay. I had a some other day. Of course, there's the concepts in engineering I barely understand for the midterm. And the perpetually boring prerequisites I need to take for the program. Exciting. Well, there is something that comes to mind. We were in some group projects. Getting something finished up, so we had some free time to chat. I brought you up in almost every other sentence. I think everybody else is getting annoyed. It's hard for me not to. To let people know I'm taken, of course, but also because you've become my own special interests. I can't stop thinking of you. Even when I really need to. Oh, come on, there are plenty of examples. Let's say I was giving a presentation in front of the whole class, and for some reason, I just can't get whatever we did last night out of my head. Oh, you bet it's happened before. Too many times. My desire for you has gotten me into too many pickles, pun intended, to count.
Well, there's the presentations, of course, and my inability to talk about anything but you. And finally, there's the little trances I slip into when I'm daydreaming. I've had complete strangers come up to me and ask why I'm staring off into space. I can't even give them an answer sometimes. It takes me a few minutes to register what they just said. It's even worse with my homework. Sometimes when I'm doing a reading, my eyes keep moving across the page, but my head is totally on you. And I have to go and backtrack for God knows how long and try and figure out what I missed. Look, I can assure you, you have nothing to worry about. You have me wrapped around your little finger. I'm sorry I didn't let you know I was going to be late. I... I guess that is something that slipped my mind. I was so eager to get back home to you, I just... kind of forgot to let you know I was running late. Well, speaking of late, do you want to head to bed now? You seem a little bit more relaxed after our little check-in. I told you it'd make us feel better. Nine times out of ten it does. I am getting kind of sleepy too, dear. I might only have a few minutes of scratches for you left, and then I'm going to be out like a light. What do you have for dinner? A true feast, huh? A cup of ramen with one scrambled egg mixed in. Sounds delicious. You really are living the, the college student life, huh? <laughs> Remember that time we tried to make a rum pasta? Cut out the metal man and save some money. A disaster indeed. Felt like every time I wiped down the counter, I'd turn around and there'd be more flour than there was before. Sometimes we still find old artifacts of stale pasta behind the toaster. <laughs> no, not at all, dear. Why would you say that? I'm glad I can look on those memories with happiness. Maybe awful. Making pasta, but uh, uh, I promise, I promise, I'm still awake. I gotta say it. Uh, why don't you close your eyes for me and relax? The faster you fall asleep, the faster I can pass out too. I'll just keep mumbling away for you. Just for you. Keep those pretty eyes sealed away and resting for tomorrow. We can wake up together and make some breakfast like we usually do. And after that, we can spend some much needed time with each other. That's alright, love. Relax. Keep that breathing easy and light. I'm right here. Patiently pushing you into the dreaming world where your worries can get whisked away into the sunset for a blissful eight hours. I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and begin my journey.